Hello, today is Monday, October 27th, 2014. This is the data visualization class at San Francisco State University. Today, Mona Chu from the class will give us a little introduction on how to use Tableau software. Try it, okay. Okay, I'll, I'll let the web page load in. Oh. Hi, everybody. Um, so I believe not um, many of us uh, start to use Tableau, right? Can you show, just show me your hands so I just want to know? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to uh, have a very brief introduction uh, and based on the project I did last time. So when, uh, when we start use Tableau, uh, I think the most important thing is connected to the data. So here is we click the connect to data. And then, um, so it has several choice. So what I did is I connect uh, with my Microsoft Excel file. Okay, uh, let me see. So, Mona, sorry to interrupt. So when you yeah. open Tableau, yeah. you get this first window, right? It's the one that says connect. That's, that's the first window that comes out. Uh, no, actually, um, yeah, could you just show how you start Tableau? Oh, okay. This is the desktop version, right? Uh, this is the te desktop version, yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, so let's say when I new, uh, create, I start from new, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, so when it is new, everything is blank. So the first step is connect to data. So when it connects to data, uh, there is choice, or you can uh, go on for the server, for the professional version, you can go to the uh, on the server. But all this needs a password, or we have our own server. So what I did is, uh, based on my last project, I would just connect it to uh, the Excel file. So this is all the files, the Excel files, and um, I find they accept the um, the latest version. So they don't need the CSS, a CSV file. They just any Excel file, and that would be even better. So it shows the information, and then go to worksheet. Okay. So now uh, on this, it has the dimension and measure. So if I click. Uh, Okay, let me let me go back to the one I just did with my. So this is my previous project. So I up uh, I load a uh, lots of Excel file. So when I click around and then it, it this will be changed on the left column. It will change. So um, let me use a simple version. Okay, let's say this is the graph. This is the Pi chat I I did, but yeah. This doesn't come out automatically. It won't, yeah. Right. So when so, I yeah, when ahead. I create a new uh new worksheet, so I click at the bottom. So they have the what they call the dashboard or the worksheet. So this is the individual worksheet. So to start with, uh, I click a new one, and then I choose the database I want to use. Uh, let's say I choosing this one and then here is um, is the field uh, and also here is show me is the available uh, or style of charts or graph you want to use uh, so when you choose from the uh, this and then from the number of record See on the on this side, you already see they highlight something you can choose for the right. style. So, so you drag one of the uh, columns, yeah, column. one, mm -hmm. of the, one of the headers, mm -hmm. you drag them into the column 
Yeah. The other end of the rows. Uh huh. Okay. And then you can you can. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going to use the one that I used to do so that um. So that is how you drag the information. So for example, here when I drag this, and I can um, either choose from here, the show me, or I can choose from this pull down menu for the choice of bar. But um, the advantage of seeing that is this is the available. See, you can change from this to here, or this to here, or the tree map. So if we choose to here, then you can uh, adjust the size. Sorry, I keep interrupting. Can you go back to the column? Just a very simple column. Column? Yeah. This one? The very first one, right? Or just the this one, first. yeah. Uh, not the one. When you create the new one. Oh, when I create a new one? Let so me see. The new one, you just create, yeah, this one. Yeah. So. So at the top, when you drag the information, the number of records, that's the column. So that tells you the X. Is that correct? Number of columns. Um, I th and rows is the Y. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The row is the right. row is the horizontal. The, right. Yeah. Um, so maybe the label on the graph mm -hmm. is the rows label, right? The label on the on the graphs. Yeah, number of yeah, here is the number of record, but maybe that right, one is right, not. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, I, no. I want to understand. So when you when you drag those two things in the columns and the rows on the very top, mm -hmm. uh, you're telling it basically what to do with the Y and what yeah, to do with yeah. the X. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the rows is the Y and the columns is the X. Yeah. 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 But maybe for this Excel file, it's not too many um, to show. Right. Uh, so maybe I use the one that I create so that yeah, sure. I will be more familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe I use this one. Uh, okay, so this is the, uh, let's say this is the year, so the column. So it's this, this part. It shows the column. And the row is here, it's the total sum. Okay, and then uh, I can change, um, I can change this when I, okay. So I can change this in, in instead of color, and I can uh, or I can okay, change this to the label, and I can change the size. So usually the size will be like it's um, the size of the elements, so that you can change from there. So um, I find this table is more like what you see is what you got on the screen, so that um, for like myself is not so in deep programming is maybe easier to handle and um, I'll change back to uh, is there a way to see the spreadsheet can you see the spreadsheet if you wanted to if you wanted to look at the data is oh you want to look at the data yeah, the okay you right click to the again just to introduce like what you took in order to do that, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is this is the uh, data sheet, and they they have many function for the data sheet as well. They can merge the data sheet, retrieve the data, uh, but that is something I haven't go into there yet. Yeah. But the graph had the years. Did the graph have the years? Let me see. Maybe this uh, is right. Oh, because you can. Actually oh, oh, actually, I pawned the wrong one. Oh. Cause, oh here, yeah. That's the one, right? So yeah, this is the the year total, mm -hmm. yeah. So each column you can drag as an element that whatever you want to drag to the worksheet to work with. So what I use is the year, from here, mm -hmm. and then the total. Um, For example, if I want to this, I want to change to that. It, it will it will change instantly. Okay, um, maybe there is many more options. Um, 
and I'm on the learning to use this table as well. So maybe um, the last thing I can show you. Uh, huh? you do, yeah. Which type of graph is this on the on the menu on the right? Which type is it? Well, for some reason it shows here. It's that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Interesting. What, what does it call it? A Gantt view. Interesting. Okay. Gantt view. view. Like a you know like a, a project management you know view right. That's very interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes I find I just try with the same data. I try what options is available, and then um, I try to see oh it it match my design, and I pick this one. And they have a very a flexible uh, change. Like if the this I want to change the format, then I double click on it. Similar like what we use in Illustrator or InDesign. Everything you double click on it and see how it gives you the options. So, as soon as you put two variables for columns and rows, two elements, yeah, it generates something and then it highlights all the possible variations. Mm -hmm. on yeah. The right. yeah, 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 yeah. And they got the map too. If your um, data, uh, if your data sheet has zip code, uh, city, and then uh, it will show the icon. They have the icon like the map is available. And then you can use the map version to plot it. So um, the last step uh, usually is the export. So what I did is I. Oh, because I used to have the print to print PDF uh -huh. in PC. Right. So that works, right? Oh, here. Yeah. PDF. Okay. Yeah. So you can you can print uh, save as PDF. So I think that is uh, a better version for us. Okay. Yeah. So then I for this project I open in Illustrator and do the um, manipulation more. Sure. Okay. So this is a very brief introduction. Uh, so they have the uh, steps and more choice and more friendly use. So maybe the last thing is I'm going to show you uh, the. Say what oh, okay, so what I uh, this is there is three things I can select, and then uh, th when I select, uh, for example, the timeline, I can select from year two thousand and eight to year two thousand and twelve. When I select here, it I can define the timeline, and these all three uh, graphs and map, uh, it will change instantly with the same because they are pointed to the same database. So I think that is the beauty of it. Um, so for this, this graph is the like it has the breakdown of the timeline like each year. So if I choose only year one year, and then it will show just this part of it. And then um, uh, also you can choose states. So this is the details of the types of crime uh, in each state. So here uh, I choose one state, but it can show. Uh, for two state compare, uh, so that's that's how I try to. So this is the overview of the states. So California still has the record of the record high for all the crimes, the total crime uh, number. Maybe because of the population is is high, and then we can see all oh, here. Uh, usually, is the property crime is the highest. Yeah, property crime is the highest, and then the burglar. So this is. Throughout most states, this is always the highest the property crime. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank I you think. So much. Sorry Thank for you. very brief introduction. Thank you.